Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching, the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. I am your host, Q the Rider, and in today's episode, I'm gonna share with you all of the reasons why you may not want to put a 21 inch wheel on your Harley touring motorcycle. So before I get started, let's talk a little bit about my motorcycle here. This is a 2018 Road Glide Ultra. It came stock with a 17 inch front wheel and a 15 inch wheel in the back. I have upgraded this bike to a 21 inch wheel in the front and an 18 inch wheel in the back. And so I'm gonna to talk to you about all of the negative things that I've come across in the last couple of months since I've installed these wheels on my bike. And you might not want to do it after you hear these things. So let's get into it. The first reason why you may not want a 21 inch wheel on your Harley Touring motorcycle is this low profile tire degrades your ride quality. Now, how much it degrades your ride quality depends on the type of bike that you start with. So this is a Road Glide Ultra or a Road Glide Limited. And this, between the stock tires and the stock suspension, this bike is actually pretty good. It's not horrible, it's not great, it's good enough for long distance riding, which is how Harley set it up. But once you put a 21 inch wheel, low profile tire, now all of a sudden you have thrown off the dynamics of the bike because the, your tires are part of your suspension and a low profile tire forces the rest of your suspension to work harder. Well, the stock suspension on the Harley is not good enough to make up for the loss in flexibility that, or the loss in, in performance that a stock tire with taller sidewalls gives. So that's the number one uh, disadvantage. And it's a big one because it affected my rod quality so much, I upgraded my suspension, which basically doubled the cost of uh, just doing the wheels alone. So that's a big reason why you might not want a 21 inch wheel. Now, if you're starting with a Road Glide, Street Glide, or Road King Special, your suspension already sucks and you might not notice the difference. But if you're starting with a Limited or a CVO Limited, whether it be an Ultra Limited or Road Glide Limited, you're gonna notice the difference right away. And that was a no-go for me. I had to do the suspension. The number two reason why you might not want to upgrade to a 21 inch wheel, safety. The 21 inch wheel has again, a smaller sidewall. That 18 inch or the 17 inch front wheel has a bigger sidewall and it can absorb bigger potholes and bigger obstacles that you might run over in the road. In fact, it happened to me on um, with the stock rims. And I'll show a picture of that right here. And as you can see, I hit something in the road. I was riding at night and whatever I hit went through the sidewall of the tire and bent the rim. And that same thing happened on the front and rear Fortunately, I didn't go down, but I did blow out both tires and yeah, that was scary. So safety, that's a good reason to not upgrade to lower profile tires that you have with a 21 inch wheel. The number three reason you may not want to upgrade to a 21 inch wheel, performance. If your plan is to have a performance bagger or in any way increase the performance of your bike, heavier wheels are a no-go and these particular wheels are heavier than the stock wheels and the combination of front and rear, it's about 10 pounds of added weight. And to a lot of people, that's not gonna make a difference. But again, if you're into performance, this is the wrong way to go. Make sure that you focus or factor in the weight of the wheel when you're making your decision on the type of wheel that you get. Now, the number, the number four reason that you may not want to upgrade or go to a larger tire is that it could impact your speedometer and odometer. I've done some tests and I have discovered that my odometer is off by about four miles every 150 miles or so. Now is that a big deal? Well it can be over the course of a thousand miles. Yes that's that's quite a bit. It also artificially gives you a lower uh, miles per gallon rating if you're calculating your miles per gallon uh, manually. So that's another thing. Now I did talk to um, the company I bought the wheels from, which is Coastal Moto, and I asked them about, you know, this, is this wheel gonna affect my odometer? They said, no, I'm throwing the BS flag on that one. I don't see how that's possible. <clears throat> but that's what they told me. I, I, don't, I don't believe that though. 
The number five reason that you might not want to upgrade to a 21 inch wheel or change your wheel size to a 21 inch wheel is the availability of tires. If you're a long distance rider and you have a blowout or a flat tire somewhere in the middle of Montana or something, is that Harley dealer going to have a 21 inch wheel? Now, the nice thing about a 21 inch wheel, it is standard on some Harley motorcycles, so it might not be a big deal, but it could be depending on where you are. The number six reason why you may not want to upgrade your wheel size, the kickstand. Now, it may not be noticeable on my bike here, but once you go to a, a larger wheel size, you're changing the ride height of the motorcycle, and as a result, it's gonna lean farther on the kickstand. So I've actually ordered a new kickstand, which is uh, one inch longer, and I'm hoping that that makes up the difference uh, with the lean angle on the bike. So there are some reasons why you might not want to upgrade your wheel size. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is Coastal Moto. That's the company I ordered the wheels from. And I wanna share with you a couple of things that I learned ordering from Coastal Moto. Number one, the wheel and tire package that I ordered said that it had internal wheel balancing, which means that there are the beads that go on the inside. Well, right here, what do we have here? Weights. I didn't get internal uh, wheel balancing on here unless I don't know what it means, but I wasn't expecting to have weights on the outside of the rim. It's not that big of a deal to me, I really don't care, but it's just the fact that they advertised uh, internal wheel balancing and I'm, I don't think I have internal wheel balancing. Just something to be aware of. The next thing, 90 degree valve stems. That was something I really wanted on this bike because on the 18s, I don't have uh, tire pressure monitoring. You have to manually check your air pressure and having a vertical uh, valve stem, it's a little bit harder to check the air pressure. So these are supposed to have 90 degree wheels, 90 degree valve stems. Well, let me show you what they did. So as you can see, I've got my 90 degree valve stem, but it's pointed the wrong way. <laughs> it should be pointed towards the right side of the bike to make it a little bit easier to check. The front wheel is not that big of a deal, but the rear wheel, it's a bigger deal because I've got less room uh, to maneuver because the bike's leaning on that side. The valve stem should be pointed this way, not that way. Now, speaking of my valve stems, the rear tire doesn't even have a 90 degree valve stem. Kind of paid for that. <laughs> I didn't get it. So I got a 90 degree valve stem on the front that's pointed the wrong way. And I didn't get one at all on the rear tire. So that, that's a little disappointing. Uh, last thing is when you order your wheels from Co Coastal Moto, unless they've changed something in the last couple of months, they don't advertise the weight of the wheel. So again, if you're concerned about performance and any impact on performance, you don't want a heavier wheel. You want to go with aluminum or carbon fiber or something like that. You're going to pay more, but you don't get the penalty of adding uh, that additional weight to your wheels. So those are the... Uh, uh, those are some of the um, the things to be aware of if you're thinking about adding some 21-inch wheels. Uh, other things that I was concerned about was the performance on U-turns and all the slow speed maneuvers that I like to do. Zero impact. And the reason for that is I did not change the rake of the forks. As a result, the wheelbase is the same. So it doesn't matter what size the wheels are. So these 21-inch wheels have no impact on slow speed riding. Uh, again, the bike does ride a little bit higher. I'm six foot two, so I don't care. Uh, only the lean of the bike is the only thing that's a little bit funky because of the shorter kickstand, but I've got a fix for that already. I just have to install it. But otherwise, I, I like them. I don't have any regrets. And all of the issues that I talked about, most of them I can fix. I'm gonna fix the valve stem once I uh, wear these tires down and then I'll add a 90 degree valve stem on the rear. The internal balancing or wheel balancing. I really don't care, to be honest with you. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm happy with them. I like the look. Um, and it, you know, and you do this for looks and style and not for performance. So I'm happy with it. It's a nice change to the bike. Anyway, that's all I have. This is Q. I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out.